Hello and welcome to this little bit of an update video where I'm going to be going through the reasons that I've not yet made my review of Oddworld Soulstorm. A couple of people have been asking me where that video is, and so I wanted to make this video to clear everything up. So I did actually start playing and recording footage for the video as soon as the game came out, and I would say that I'm probably about three quarters of the way through it. Now, the reason that I've decided to basically cancel my review of the game is pretty much because I don't like it. There's a lot of reasons that I'll go into in a minute as to why that is, but first I want to clear up the reasons as to why I don't just make the video anyway and have it be a negative one. So the first reason that I don't want to be too negative on Soulstorm is because I absolutely love the Oddworld series and it just doesn't feel right completely slating the newest game. As a lot of you probably already know, I've actually reviewed every single game in the series, even including the weird, obscure, portable ones. So my love of the Oddworld series is one thing that's stopping me from wanting to do an entirely negative review, but then the second thing is the fact that the game has already received quite a few updates which have fixed some of the things that I was going to be complaining about. So with the game receiving constant updates like this, I can only assume that in a few months' time, the game is going to be in a completely different state to what it is at the moment. So if I was to make a review of the game now in its current state, in a few months down the line, my review is going to be instantly dated because the game will be completely different by then. And the third reason that I don't want to review it just yet is because my capture card is actually quite old at this point and it doesn't like recording footage in 60 frames per second. When it does that it tends to glitch quite a lot and it's completely incompatible with 4K signals as well. So really, before I review Soulstorm, what I really want to do is upgrade my capture card so that I can record in 60 frames per second and in 4K. But yeah, out of those three reasons, the biggest reason that I don't want to review the game just yet is because it's constantly being updated. This is one of those situations though that's a little bit annoying because I am one of those people that think games released now are a little bit haphazardly put together and they just rely on these updates to actually make the games fully playable or work properly. It's just annoying how so many big games now are released in this almost early access state where they just rely completely on being patched and updated in order to bring the game more in line with the vision that was actually sold to us. But yeah, I feel like at this point I should probably go into more specific details about what I actually didn't like about the game, just so there's some sort of record of it to refer back to when I eventually do make my review of it. So one of the main off-putting things at the moment is that the game is quite glitchy. I've literally seen footage of other people playing the game where they just fall straight through the floor and leave the game world. I've not experienced anything quite that bad, but I have seen my fair share of glitches, with things like me throwing a mine and it just getting stuck in mid-air, and some really wonky animation as well. It's also an extremely common occurrence for Sligs to just get stuck in place in the patrol routes and just be stood there looking in a certain area, which not only brings you out of the atmosphere of the game, but can also make it so that it's impossible to progress without getting yourself killed. And when I say that this glitch happened a lot, I mean a lot. It literally happened multiple times in every single level. Another thing that I don't like about the game, and this is something that won't be updated because it's a part of the core experience, is how slowly the story moves forward. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm about three quarters of the way through the game, and I feel like hardly anything has actually happened. Maybe the last quarter of the game that I've not played yet will completely blow me away and have like tons of plot twists or something, but so far I've actually been finding it quite boring. Whenever there is a cutscene in the game though, the cutscene graphics look absolutely incredible, and that's probably the best part of the entire game to be honest, so it's a shame that there aren't more of them. I also found that there's pretty much no variety in enemies. You've got the Sligs, you've got flying Sligs, I've encountered a couple of greeters, but beyond that, there's practically nothing else. I guess you could say that there's some bat enemies, but they don't really count. So yeah, when you compare this to the older games, especially with Abe's Exodus that Soulstorm is kind of a remake of, Soulstorm really just doesn't compare. In Exodus you had all sorts of different enemy types, like the Slurgs, Fleechers, Greeters, Sligs, Flying Sligs, Paramites, Scrabs, and way more. 
Another thing I didn't like about the game was how video gamey it felt, which might be an odd criticism considering that it is a video game, but let me explain. The original Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus were really cinematic in the way that there was no HUD elements and everything was actually placed in the environment as a part of the game's world. This made going through the game feel really immersive because everything actually had context within that game's universe. With Soulstorm though, you've got all of these different HUD elements which make it look almost like a mobile game. You've got these checkpoints that light up as you run past them that don't make any sense within the game's universe at all, and plus make the game drop frames when you touch them. There's constant tutorial pop-ups explaining the most simple actions that you obviously will already know how to do. You've got a double jump that allows you to defy gravity and doesn't actually make any sense considering that you couldn't do this in New and Tasty. You've got a health bar rather than just dying in one or two hits like in the original games, and there's loads of stuff on top of all of this too. It's just not really the direction that I wanted the series to go in. I wanted it to remain as this cinematic experience, but it seems like they're going way far away from that. There's way more stuff on top of all of these things as well that I could go into detail about, but like I say, this isn't a review of the game, this is me explaining why I'm not reviewing it yet. Basically the bottom line is, is that I don't want to make a completely negative Oddworld video based on a game that isn't finished yet. While it is really irritating that it's not finished yet, considering that they've released it, and if you get it on PS4 it costs quite a lot of money, I still want to give Oddworld Inhabitants the benefit of the doubt to finalise the game and make it as good as it can possibly be before I dive into it properly for a review. Luckily the game is actually free on PlayStation Plus, but only if you're a PS5 user. So if you're wanting to try the game out, you could always do that if you own a PS5, and then maybe not play the game just yet and wait for them to finalise it. Because if you play it in its current state, I really do feel like you're not getting the proper experience as it was intended. I do really want to like Soulstorm, and I do feel bad having so many complaints about it, but I can't kid myself into thinking that it's a good game, because in its current state, it really isn't. So my plan for now is to just leave the game alone completely, wait for all of the updates to come out, and then go back to it in October for this year's Oddtober Marathon. That's when I'll revisit the game and go into it with an open mind, and then see if it's improved or not. I'll also be making several other Oddworld videos, so if, like me, you're a fan of the series, definitely subscribe if you want to see those. But yeah, I hope that clears up why I've not made my Oddworld Soulstorm video yet, and why I'm not going to be making it for quite some time. If you've played Oddworld Soulstorm, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below, and give the video a like and subscribe to see more stuff like this coming soon. And until next time, bye!